Hello YouTube and welcome to Synthetic Oil Info. My name is Tom Brown and in this video I want to talk about AMSOIL's Severe Gear Synthetic Gear Lubricants. And here is the 7590. Uh, there's three gear lubes in this family. Um, and this is the lowest viscosity or lightest, the 7590. Here is the 75110. And here it is. <clears throat> Excuse me, here is the 75140. Now, by far, the 75110 and the 75, or excuse me, the 7590 and the 75110 are the most popular viscosities of gear lubes out there. Um, the 75110 is somewhat unique to AMSOIL. I mean, I'm sure there's other companies that offer this, uh, but it's kind of a, a problem solver that I'll discuss here in a little bit. Um, but the whole purpose behind these severe gear gear lubes is for those applications that are running uh, really high horsepower, high torque, heavy load, high speed uh, conditions, and they're putting extreme workload on the gear lubricants that are in the differentials of these vehicles. So whether it's a, a pickup or a um, you know, medium-sized truck that you're towing with, uh, or a high-performance car that you're uh, you know, mod heavily modified or it's already got a lot of power from the factory, you know, rear wheel drive car with a conventional rear differential. Um, the, the gear lubes in these vehicles are seeing some extreme conditions because of high heat and the heat is being caused from two, um, two sources. One is a lot of these cars especially are sitting lower to the ground and they have body clad kits on them that keep the air from flowing underneath the vehicle. That reduces the drag on the vehicle, which increases performance, and it also uh, makes the car use less fuel, uh, but it also creates a condition underneath the back end of the car where the differential starves for air for cooling. So the, the, uh, the gear lube back there just gets so hot because there's no air coming underneath the car to cool the, the rear differential. The other thing that's causing the higher heat back there is some of these cars have gone to a smaller differential to make more room underneath the car um, and so now you're putting a greater uh, heavier workload more horsepower more torque into a smaller differential which is increasing the stress on the ring and pinion back there uh, and when you increase the stress on something you increase the heat and so you've got more heat being produced inside less air coming down underneath the car uh, so it just creates kind of a perfect storm environment you know so uh, the, that's for the leading uh, reason why AMSOIL developed these severe gear lubricants is to try to address uh, this perfect storm condition. And what happens is you get what's called runaway uh, thermal breakdown. You know, so the oil gets hot, it starts to break down, it does, uh, you know, as it starts to break down, it lubricates less and it cools less, which causes more heat to be produced which causes the oil to break down even faster. And so as you can see, then you just get into this circular uh, spiral of you know, more heat, less lubricant, uh, and it just keeps breaking the oil down until the point where that oil has sheared clear out of grade uh, and it's no longer really doing anything. It's almost like water back there in terms of its ability to lubricate the differential gears and bearings. And so then you get to the point where you're having some pretty bad wear on your ring and pinion and bearings in the, in the rear end. You know, and so the, uh, the other thing that happens sometimes is people get water in their differentials, especially, you know, we were out on a barrier island of Georgia this weekend. And uh, it's common out there for people who are not familiar with what happens to vehicles uh, for them to drive their vehicles out in the surf. You know, it seems fun and it's kind of a, you know, a cool thing to go out in the water with your four-wheel drive pickup. The problem is your differentials get submerged underneath the water uh, and then they, you know, they get salt water in the differential fluid. Uh, and so you need to get that changed out of there uh, because even this severe gear uh, it is not designed to operate with water contamination, especially salt water contamination. So, and the other thing that happens is you have a new truck. Uh, another reason why you should be changing your d differential fluid. You know, if you look in your owner's manual, a lot of times it won't say very much about changing the differential fluid. 
unless you read some of the severe or towing application notes. And then you'll see very quickly where they want you to change out that differential fluid very soon uh, after you start operating that new vehicle. Because what's happening is the ring and pinion in your new vehicle uh, go through a mating process, uh, like a break-in process that your engine goes through. And during that mating process of the ring and pinion uh, wearing against each other, they create shavings or very small filings of metal uh, flakes and those get down in the oil and they typically go to the bottom of the sump and they get uh, caught by the there should be some type of a magnet either in the cover or on the drain plug if your differential is equipped with one so that most of those metal shavings get uh, attracted to that magnet but not all of them do and some of them remain in suspension in the gear lube and they continue to circulate through the differential and they continue to cause wear uh, as they get in between the, the, the ring and pinion gear surfaces and they cause pitting. And so you want to get those uh, shavings and filings out of there as soon as possible. So after your vehicle has got a few thousand miles on it, you really need to sur uh, service that differential uh, front and rear if you're uh, talking about a four wheel drive or just rear if you're talking about a conventional rear wheel drive uh, and get that factory fluid out of there to get those uh, mating uh, filings and shavings out of there and then put in a good you know severe gear whichever one of the ones you're going to run based on the recommendations in your owner's manual and then you can start running an extended drain or extended change interval uh, that AMSOIL has got specified you know, so for example, in a car, SUV, or light trucks, uh, under normal service, you can run this fluid for 100,000 miles. Uh, under severe service, you can run it for 50,000 miles, uh, or according to your owner's manual, whatever it specifies for severe service. Uh, you know, if you're talking about heavy-duty trucks, you can run those clear up to 250,000 miles or three years. Um, and there's some other recommendations that AMSOIL has on their website about these gear oils. Uh, and, but the one that I kind of wanted to highlight real quick is the 75110. Because like I said earlier, it can kind of be a problem solver for you. Because it sits in the middle and it's a viscosity that not very many oil companies uh, have available uh, in the retail market. So let's say you have a vehicle that called for 7590, but you do a lot of extreme operations with this vehicle. Um, and you know you're putting some pretty heavy loads on that rear differential, uh, then you might consider stepping up to a 75110 to provide some additional viscosity breakdown protection for those gears and bearings in that application. Or conversely, let's say you have a vehicle that called for 75140, but you don't tow with it at all. You know, you drive it in very normal operations. Maybe let's say you, especially if you live up in some cooler climates, you know, and you just don't abuse this vehicle at all. It doesn't tow, it doesn't race, you know, and you want to maybe catch a little bit extra fuel mileage out of this thing. So instead of running the 75 140, you may consider, uh, after doing some research, dropping down to the 75 110. Now that's not a, an excuse or that's not a, a license from AMSOIL for you to not follow your OEM uh, recommendations. It's just a consideration. Um, so, you know, you might want to discuss that with your mechanic or your dealer uh, to find out, uh, you know, how they're going to react to that, especially if your vehicle is still under warranty. But it's just a consideration out there that you could uh, um, take into your uh, thought process as you try to figure out, okay, do I need more protection or do I, is the 75140 really overkill for me? And could I run with a lighter gear oil to maybe increase my efficiency a little bit? So, but that's going to be it now for the severe gear. Uh, as always, there will be a red link right up here where it will take you to my website where you can uh, link to either AMSOIL, AGRAND, or Altrum, which are the three main uh, product lines of AMSOIL. AGRAND is the fertilizer line and Altrum is the nutritional supplement line. Our website's right here in the bottom of the video, minutemanperformance.com. Uh, you can go there and communicate with us by email or you can call us. Uh, but also down below in the discussion box, there are two tiny URLs. The first one will take you directly to this product, 
line on the Amsoil website where you can learn more about it and, and place an order. And we thank you if you do. And the second uh, tiny URL down below there is about becoming an Amsoil preferred customer. That'll allow you to save money on your order and uh, then Amsoil will ship those products right to your house. Preferred customers usually save anywhere from 20 to 25 percent depending upon the item. Uh, and uh, you'll usually pay for that preferred customer membership uh, on your first order uh, if you place an order for $100 or more. And that's good for a whole year usually as well. Uh, there's also a six month membership available uh, for the first time trial. Uh, so please check that out and uh, we look forward to hearing more from you. We're also over on Facebook under Synthetic Oil Info and we're obviously here on YouTube under Synthetic Oil Info. So please subscribe to our channel here on YouTube and like our videos and like us on Facebook when you have a chance. That helps us get seen by more people so we can help them like we're helping you right now. Uh, so that's it for now. We hope to see you on another video real soon. Take care.